We leave you tonight with a brave rescue. Two Canadian teenagers are being hailed heroes for saving two other tourists from drowning in Barbados. CTV's Olivia O'Malley picks up the story. If it weren't for these quick-thinking Montreal teenagers catching a final wave on their boogie boards, this picturesque shoreline in Barbados could have become the scene of a tragedy. The woman, uh, she was calling help, help, help. Belinda and Robert Stone from South London were in the water when they say a strong current pulled them out farther into the ocean. Zoe Mecklensek, Ireland, rescued the woman, but her husband was struggling to return to the shore. I could swim, but it was literally not, I wasn't able to actually achieve anything. I wasn't going anywhere. Mecklensek, Ireland and Emma Basterman went immediately back into the water with their boogie boards in tow to rescue the 68-year-old. So I gave him my boogie board and I told him to go on it. And then the, my boogie board had a strap to it that would, it was a tether and it would go around my ankle or my wrist. So I tied it to my wrist and, um, and then I uh, swam um, parallel to shore until he could touch the sand. Basterman is a competitive swimmer with the Dorval Swim Club. She's in the Caribbean island training for the Olympics. If either of us were any weaker swimmers, it could have been a lot more disastrous for all of us. The friends are being hailed as heroes. I just wanted to say thank you. A local politician awarded them with a gift of appreciation. And back in England, the Stones say the young girls saved their lives by being in the water that day. I really feel like we've got a good guardian angel looking out over us. If Zoe and... Maybe a Canadian and, one. Or in this case, maybe two. Olivia O'Malley, CTV News, Montreal.